times who I I really don't use that to get everyone quiet. I, I normally do that to say, thank you very much. I appreciate the applause. Uh, not really. Um, when we have 300 students here in our cafeteria or in our gym, it is a little technique that we use around here to get everyone's attention and you cannot even begin to imagine how well it works with 300 students. Um, and you can hear a pin drop normally afterwards. So, uh, first of all, we just want to welcome you. Welcome you to our Good Citizenship Breakfast here on this cold, brisk, minus two, February the 6th day. And even though it's cold outside, it's very warm in here, and I'm not just talking about the temperature, I'm talking about the warmth that we feel when we walk into Long Pond School. How many feel warmth and welcome when they walk into Long Pond School? You do? Good. It doesn't seem too much because your hands were only here. How many people feel welcome when you walk into Long Pond School? Terrific, terrific, and if you don't, then you need to see me so that we can see what we can do to make you feel more welcome and uh, you can feel the warmth a little bit more. Um, always I like to ask, how many of you, parents, grandparents, have that pride that's arrogant? You know what, a lot of times we're lonely in this world. But if we have that type of pride that's a gentle pride, that's a pride that tells our children that you are worth something, you are of value, you are our most precious, precious, valued item in this world, hey, hey, hey. Um, then I think our children are going to grow up feeling good about themselves so they can make others feel good about themselves. So once again, welcome to the Good Citizenship Breakfast. This is the first citizenship breakfast that our superintendent is able to enjoy with us, and I want to welcome him today, Mr. Massarino. So we welcome Mr. Massarino. He is going to be sharing just a few words with us later. He also, uh, if they win tonight, they go to the final game on Monday evening. Uh, hopefully Monday will not snow down because I, I don't want to go to school till July the 15th. So, uh, <laughs> um, so I just want to let you know it is a very active day in, in our community, our educational community. So I just wanted to share that with you because there is a lot that goes on here that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, but you're also welcome to go to the Hardison game tonight. Trying to obey the rules of school, home and community, which is not always easy. Assisting others voluntarily. Trying to do the right thing even when no one is watching and no one is around. Just trying to do the right thing. We celebrate each of you fine young people because you have demonstrated all or most of the above characteristics. Even though each one of you is being recognized as a good citizen, each one of you is different in your own way. Each one of you makes a difference in your own way. In this school, in your families, in your clubs, in your activities, and in your communities. Just a little bit of advice as you make your way through Long Pond, and some of you only being, I guess, in the fifth grade, is that accurate? Yeah. The whole school? Okay, and some of you are uh, definitely maturing your way to the high school setting, which will be here in several months. So just a little bit of advice, I have to take the opportunity when I'm around young people having it. four grown children, you have to give advice when you're my age. <laughs> Never be ashamed or embarrassed to do what is right and to stand up for others. Special thanks for the parents and the guardians and uh, grandparents for making a special effort to be there. I know what it's like to have to change schedules and manipulate <laughs> work schedules and other duties, so we really appreciate you taking the time uh, to support the young people. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the day. <coughs> and if we can hold our applause, folks, until the end, I'm going to ask all of the students to come on, line up, kind of around the bend here, because we have 39 students, I believe, today. And, uh, and then that way we can give them all a wonderful applause at the, at the end. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Dick. 
And then a um, follow-up opportunity at the end, we'll have at the back pole, parents, you can stay if you want to take a nice picture for, uh, uh, for keepsake. I would also like to congratulate all of you for being good citizens and being here with us today. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you to all the moms, dads, grandma, grandpa, uncles for being here as well. All right, we're gonna start um, with our first good citizen, it would be Amy Mills. Ishtar for now. Kayla McCarty. Noelle Casperson. Maturity is not an age. Maturity is an action. I know people that are 60 years of age that are still very immature. And I know 10 and 11 and 13 and 14 years of age children that are very mature. This is evidence up here of our mature students because they realize that maturity is not an age, but an action. So once again, students, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, neighbors, um, whatever person here is representing the child, we want to thank you once again for being here. Uh, we'll see you around campus, and at this time, uh, we're going to have a photo opportunity for all of the students, if you would be so kind. 